So there's a drive out of my driveway. Today marks the end of an era. Today we are rehoming our chickens. These girls have been with us for the last almost four years. They have given us four, four to five eggs a day religiously for all that time. We've had so many eggs, we don't even know what to do with all of them. But the time has come officially for us to find them a new home because our journey is changing. We are heading off to the Little Karoo and the Garden Route to lay our foundations over there. I have done an intro video to our piece of land that we have bought in the Little Karoo, which I'll tag for you and add some snippets just to tease you of what's to come. But that means for now we do need to find new homes for these chickens but it doesn't mean we're not going to get chickens again so here we go we found them an amazing home and i'm going to take you along on the journey so that you can see that they are going to somewhere amazing and the rest of their lives are going to be spent in pure bliss so as we now head into what is probably in my opinion the most beautiful part of cape town Misty Cliffs, Fitzsun, Scarborough, all of that. You're probably bouncing around unless the stability control on my camera is really working well. It is a spectacular part of Cape Town. Why is it relevant? Because this is the road to the farm where our chickens are going to have their new home. But I thought as we take the scenic drive on this beautiful road, let's introduce you to them so that you can get to know them a bit better. Over the years we've had a few chickens, we've had some losses unfortunately due to sickness, bad egg laying, uh, one had an egg get stuck inside her, I tried everything I can to save her, her name was Squeak, one of the white ones they came in a pair and she was a silver highline. We have one more silver highline left which is one that's heading over and her name is Bubbles, she is um, quite a feisty little one. Then we have the mother hen, um, she is really such an awesome, awesome chicken. She is a loman and her name is Lemon. We originally had a pair called Lemon and Herb and then we've got Peri Peri as well which is, if you guessed it right, the Nando's flavors. <laughs> we thought it would be funny to name our chickens after Nando's flavors. So there you have it, Lemon is the Loman and she's the mother of the pack. Peri Peri is a Rhode Island Red and she's also pretty feisty and she's been with us since the beginning. And then we have two adopted ones, Molly and Maisie. Molly is a beautiful, beautiful and very large Porchestrum Kukuk. She really is a heavy bird so probably if, if anyone wanted to eat her she's probably a good big chicken but I'm hoping not because she's she's a beautiful bird and then we have the other one Maisie which is an Easter egg and she gives beautiful olive color eggs so those are the five ladies that are finding a new house today and yeah let's hope they enjoyed as much as they have enjoyed living and giving eggs to and with us
So there our ladies are officially rehomed. What an amazing place that is. So many other birds that they can now mingle with. There was some serious pecking order rearrangement happening there. But it's okay. It looks and sounds vicious, but it's what they do. Chickens can be quite aggressive when they try and re-establish or establish a pecking order. It'll take some time, but they will without a doubt be settling in beautifully. So that is officially the end of our chicken chapter for now. Or at least let's call it our urban chicken chapter. Our next chicken chapter will be on the farm where we can not be limited to bylaws and neighbors and all of those things. We can just do what we feel we need to for ourselves and our families. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. Please leave me a comment about what you think about our birds, everything else that's going on. And yeah, I hope you follow my journey into the new chapter and enjoy that as much as you have this journey. Until next time, stay safe.